Richard Southern joins us now to talk about the day's top business stories. Hi, Richard. Hi, Tina. How are you? I'm good. Let's get right into it. So we're starting with Canada's job market. Mm, cooling off. Cooling like off. the economy on a whole. We got the um, October jobs numbers in today, and it was the weakest job gain in more than a year, Tina. Unemployment rate hitting a 21-month high. It's all adding to evidence that Canada's economy is weakening 17,000 jobs created in October, less than expected. And the uh, jobless rate up now to 5.7%, the fourth monthly increase in the past six months. Earlier this week, data suggested Canada may have fallen into a technical recession, whereby the economy has weakened for two consecutive quarters. Now this uh, unemployment data really adding to that evidence. And very likely, Tina, this is gonna have the Bank of Canada probably done with its rate hikes, economists are saying. So, Good. yeah, I mean, it's not great. The economy's slowing and hopefully we avoid the worst of a recession, but I think it's almost safe to say the Bank of Canada's done with all those rate hikes that yeah, I hope you so. weren't so happy about with your mortgage no. payments. No, many weren't, many yeah. weren't. Okay, I have a prop for our next story. My first Christmas Starbucks drink, it was delicious. Oh. It was a gingerbread oat latte. I was gonna guess what it was. <laughs> I knew it was something fancy like that. It was really good, but I try a different one every time because you gotta try them all. Um, so they're planning on cutting costs. Yeah, Starbucks in with some actually some very good earnings, but uh, they're talking about a, a revamp plan. They're actually calling it the triple shot uh, reinvention strategy from Starbucks. And uh, they're saying they're gonna add a lot more stores, Tina. Uh, as if they don't have enough on, on, already. There's one on every corner. I know, that kind of, you know, they did lose some stores over the pandemic, but they're adding 17,000 new locations by 2030. They're also planning to cut three billion in costs. Now they weren't really clear about how they were gonna cut those costs specifically. They are facing um, higher salaries and they're facing uh, union drives at many of their uh, stores nowadays. Uh, the company's earnings were good and they were thanks very much to the type of drinks like you're getting, the higher priced lattes and customized drinks. It's the extra shots, the cold foam, the oat milk, the sugary syrups that's fattening up the bottom line, the things coffee aficionados tend to turn their noses up. Mm -hmm. I've converted to oat milk completely now, so oh. yeah. How about you, what's I'm your I'm old fashioned, I'm like, give me the black Pike Place or whatever, you know? I love that too, you gotta mix it up. Plus I work in radio, I can't afford these fancy gingerbread <laughs> latte No one deals. can right now, <laughs> but we gotta treat ourselves, okay? <laughs> All right, um, so the Blue Jays, we know everybody loves a good hot dog, but there's some changes coming to the food stands there. Yeah, how many hot dogs did Jays fans eat this past year? Like a lot. half a million or something yeah. like that? Uh, they, there might be different hot dogs next season. The Rogers Center and the Blue Jays have done away with their old catering company, Airmark, that they've been using for a long time. And they've signed a new deal with Legends Hospitality to oversee all the food and beverage at the ballpark starting next season. This U.S.-based company, interestingly enough, co-owned by the holding company that owns the Yankees. Oh. They're having the Yankees involved in the food and beverage. Uh, the Rogers Center teasing uh, new menu offerings. We don't know what they're going to be yet. We don't know what the prices are going to be yet. Uh, but kind of fun to see. You know, we're going to have the infield renovation next year and new eats and drinks as well. That sounds great. Looking forward to trying it. Yeah. I'm sure the prices will be as high as those Starbucks drinks. <laughs>